How important is marketing in your business? Well, it's incredibly important and let's break it down because one of the most common things I hear, especially people that's in business, is that they're asking questions such as, should I be setting a budget for my marketing and what should that budget be? Now, the word budget should not exist when it comes to marketing. Because your goal as a business owner is how can you invest See how I changed the word from spending money on marketing? How much more can you invest in your marketing strategies in order to produce more business for the company? So I'm going to give you an indication on a percentage of what that should be. And it's going to frighten a few of you without a shadow of a doubt, especially for those that don't spend money on marketing. Because a lot of small businesses, when they're getting started, especially before they've hit that six-figure milestone and target, they're usually trying to, you know, bootstrap their business, you know, they're trying to do what they can do to be resourceful, keeping costs down. And when it comes to marketing, that marketing is really through referral marketing, word of mouth, speaking to friends and family, you know, attending networking events, getting yourself out there, posting organically in social media. And all of that's got a place and all of that helps when it comes to marketing. But in order for your business to go to the next level and to scale and accelerate, you've got to invest money in your marketing. So with that in mind, I'm going to get you to come up with a little system that's going to assist and help you with all things marketing. So in a business, a business has turnover. So revenue and income that comes into the business. So let's take your business is generating 100K of revenue, right? So that's 100 grand coming into your business. Whatever the number is, the same calculation is relevant. What I want to encourage you to do is to take 30% of your turnover and put it into a marketing account. Yes, 30%. Now, let's break that down a little bit because some of you might be sitting there thinking, God, if I take 30% of my business, I've got no profit left over. And here's the point, right? This is where you're going to know if you've got a healthy business or not. So let's say in that 100K, you're going to have expenses. You're going to have running costs of the business, potentially marketing expenses if you're already marketing. There's going to be staff potentially outsourcing. There's going to be subscriptions. There's going to be paying yourself dividends and all of that kind of stuff too. And then again, you've got tax to pay and everything else. So when you take all those things away, you might not have 30%, in this example, 30K, you might not have that left to put into marketing. And that means there is an underlying issue with the turnover in the business. And that might be you've got too high of expenses. So if you've got big expenses, then the reality is you're gonna to need to start cost cutting a little bit. You're gonna start looking at those expenses. Can you make things a lot cheaper? I'm gonna give an example. I'm working with a client who has a business that's just hit six figures, yet their accountancy fees represent 6% of their whole turnover. That is incredibly high. And for what the level of that business is, they don't need monthly management accounts and quarterly management meetings with accountant. It's only generating six figures. So they're having to scale that back. And what they've been able to do is cut their turnover in terms of the percentage of the accountancy fees from 6% down to 2%. That's a 4% saving. That's £4,000 a year saving. So again, it's being aware of your expenses, the subscriptions, and can you go and, and, and go to your suppliers to get better you know, um, prices for certain things. So this is what you should always be looking at when it comes to a business in terms of lowering your cost of expenses. There's a certain things you can get rid of altogether because you're not using. Because again, the goal here is to bring more profitability into your business, but more importantly, being able to increase that percentage that you can put into marketing, which will ultimately allow you to grow the business. Now. Are you taking too much money yourself personally out of the business? Because what you don't want to do is get yourself in a situation that your business is turning over good money, but every month you're taking all the profits out of that business. And by taking all the profits out of the business for yourself, then what's happening, there's no money left over for you to grow the business. So a couple of things to be mindful of in terms of scaling and growing a business. I like to put things into little pots. So you're going to have one bank account, the main bank account where all money goes into. My recommendation is when money comes into that bank account, you should have another bank account set up and that other bank account should be your marketing account. And 30%, so let's say this week, at the end of the week, let's say... Um, 10,000 pounds comes in, making up a number. It could be a thousand pounds, it could be anything. 
If £10,000 drops into your account through that week, take 30%, which is 3,000, and put that straight into your marketing account. If it's only a thousand pounds that comes in, take 300 pounds, put that into your market account. Also, you should create another account, which I call your team building account, which should be 20% of your turnover. So the same example of 10,000 pounds comes in, take 20%, in this example, 2,000, put that into your team building account. If it was only a thousand pounds that came in, again, taking 20%, 200 pounds, and putting that into your team building account. Because in order to grow and scale a business and to make your business make more money, that's the two most vitally important things you need to focus on, which is your marketing as well as your team building. So what's that team building for? That 20% of your turnover that you put in there for your team building is for you to grow your team, is to be able to outsource certain activities and priorities that need to be done in the business. It is to pay someone else a salary to come on board to work in your business. And as your team building account starts to continue to grow, you're gonna have surplus money in there to employ new staff members, to put into outsourcing, which is ultimately gonna help you leverage your time to focus on the more important tasks, the priorities, high priorities, that you can help grow the business. This is where you're starting to transition from working in to working on the business when you start to build a team. The 30% when it comes to marketing now, we're gonna talk about that, the types of marketing you should be putting that money into. Now that leaves 50% in the business, in your main account. And that's where you've got to pay all your subscriptions, all your expenses, all your expenses and running costs, as well as paying yourself. So if you, once you pay yourself, don't have that left over, you're paying yourself too much. You need to stop taking all your profits out of your business, go back to grassroots so you've got money to grow your business. One of the most common things I hear from people is, how can I scale my business? And unfortunately, you don't have a business to scale because you don't have those little pots, those extra accounts to have money for marketing, to put into marketing, to bring in more clients, to bring in more income for your business to scale. And you don't have a team that you're building up that pot of cash to build a team. So it's impossible to scale your business. You don't have systems in place. You don't have the fundamentals in place. So that stuff's incredibly important. And if you start to get this system in place, it's gonna change everything for you. So what do you do with that 30%? Let me give you a high level overview when it comes to marketing, all right? You can put that into digital marketing, Facebook ads, TikTok ads, YouTube ads, any digital platform, Instagram, you name it. Again, that will generate more income. You can also then put that into brand building, building the business brand, building your own personal brand, putting yourself out there more. It could be PR agencies that you invest in. It could be physical things that you do in terms of creating brochures that you can send out to your clients. It could be letters you post through. It could be anything that's marketing related. It's a whole subject and a topic in itself. But once you start to understand marketing and knowing the strategies and the market strategies you should be applying, you've got a 30% of your turnover to go and put that to work. And my goal with my companies is to try and invest, remember that word, invest as much as I possibly can into marketing. And if you've never done any of that stuff before, this is where it gets a little bit scary because it's like, wow, I've never invested a few thousand a month in marketing, let alone 30% of my turnover. It's not that you need to take all that and throw it into marketing. It's you've got the marketing account there that's building up for you to test and measure things, to invest in marketing, to see what works, to tweak things, to improve it. And once you get something that hits and is a winner in terms of your social content or your brand building or various methods that work for you, then you can go all in now that you've built up that war chest of marketing to keep on growing the business. So a lot of things to take on board. If you've got questions on marketing, scaling a business, or some of the things I spoke about, drop it in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Happy to answer any further questions you've got. And as always, my goal here is to bring value, support you guys in your own personal journey. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell for when we drop content. And as always, I respond to your comments, so drop it in the questions. And I look forward to seeing you guys again. Cheers and all the best. Thank you.